All right, so I have this logo that I'm working on, and I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I may not talk much because I do want it to be quick um, on how to make cut lines. So you see the logo, it has a lot of different colors, shapes, and things in it. So once you get used to doing this, see this is a gradient, um, it's not just one color. But I'm going to show you all how we make our cut lines. I'm going to use a blue line so you can see it because I am going to keep the black background just so everything is like really clear on the screen. So here we go. So we have this rectangle here. I already took it out of this group. So when you look at it, the rectangle is on the outside. So I can pretty much go in and out like that, right? But like I said, we're going to keep it on so you can actually see. So we go on our layer. That's basically where our logo is, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is expand this layer. And if we have the, um, if we have the first letters, we're going to go step by step. So we have the first part of the logo here. Um, I already duplicated it. So let's say this is words one, and this was just a duplicate words two. Matter of fact, let's make this words cut. So words two, notice how it's on the bottom of words cut. So the one that's on the bottom, we want to take this tool over here, the contour tool, and we're just going to make it a little bit bigger. Um, you can either use this dot at the front and move it to the right, or we can go up here to radius and move this one. So you'll see it like widening up. That's what we want. And then we'll go to words cut and we're going to add a stroke. I'm going to use a blue line just so we can see it. Right. And when our BN cuts, it doesn't need a lot. Like 0.3 is pretty much standard. Um, so we're going to use that. Right. So we got our words there. Now let's work on this brush. So what you see in this brush is that. It has a whole bunch of layers, right? All of that makes up the brush. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the top of where the brush starts and I'm going to hold down the shift button. And we're going to scroll down to where everything for the brush stops. Right? So we'll be here. Right? Now let's go here and group it all together. This just makes it so much easier to work with. So now we're gonna work on this scissor as well. We go here, the top of it, hold down shift, click the bottom of it, group it all together. Now these two combs, they're pretty much standard. So we're gonna leave those alone. Now let's go back to the brush, right? I want you to duplicate this brush. So we're going to call this uh, artwork, brush artwork, brush art, right? We're going to call this brush cut, right? Let's go up here and we want basically everything to be joined together to make one shape. So to make one shape, we're going to add everything together. So notice how this changed, right? Now let's duplicate that, right? We're going to go to the one on the bottom and we're going to call it blush, brush bleed. So now we have a brush bleed and we're going to do the same thing for scissors. We're going to duplicate it. We're going to call it scissors art. Scissors cut. Add everything together. 
direction we got one color. We're going to duplicate that. Go to the one on the bottom. We're going to call it scissors bleed. So with these bleeds, we always want to make sure we're bleeding our artwork because we don't want white lines around our artwork. Now, being as though the scissors is majority paint pink, like the artwork here, for my bleed, I'm going to use our contour tool again. And we're going to go up here to radius and move it over a bit. All right, we're going to move it over a bit. But you see how it's a little jagged here? We don't want that jaggedness. So we're going to... Let's hide the scissors cut and let's hide the scissors art, All right? So now we have scissors bleed. So we see what this looks like. We don't really want that. So let's go back to the scissors bleed layer and we're gonna go to curves. And with these curves, we have to zoom in and we have to make sure it's straight. You're going to go in and you're just going to delete certain curves and that's going to basically fix these uh, lines in there because what this is going to do is if we didn't delete these things it's a possibility the color of the paper may show so it's important that we delete them okay my apologies phone was ringing but anyway we're still on the scissors bleed layer, right? And we went in and we fixed all of those extra curves. Now let's go to the scissors cut layer. On that scissors cut layer, we want to add our stroke. Again, I'm using the blue stroke so we can see it, right? So on that stroke, we want all of that to cut, right? See our cut line? That blue line is where it's going to cut. And there's not going to be any white paper underneath it. Only the bleed layer. If I was to change, if I was to change this bleed layer to gold, you would get some gold in your design. But I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna just use a color that's already in the design. And that way it won't look too bad. So we still got our artwork on top. We got our cut line right here. Everything that's highlighted in blue is basically going to cut. And I'm talking about the blue here, not the blue here. Um, so let's do the same thing for the brush layer. We want to go to the brush layer. Let's hide the brush art so you can see what I'm doing, right? Let's go to the bleed layer, contour tool. Widen it up. You see how these things are forming? We don't want those things to form. Again, we're going to go in here. And we're going to see that we got some extra curves that are unnecessary. We're going to go in and delete them. Let's go to the cut layer and let's add our stroke. Again, we got a blue line. I'm just making it bigger so you can see it. See that blue line? And also keep in mind, you want the alignment to usually be on this. I'm not going to say always because there are times where I might put it on the outside and have it on the inside. But for the most part, you're almost always going to use a center stroke when making cut lines. So let's put our artwork back there. Again, it's majority pink, so we're going to leave our bleed layer pink. So we did the scissors, we did this brush, and now we got this comb at the top. And this is easy because it's already one color. So we're going to duplicate. I'm going to call this, we're going to do an immediate cut because 
this is one color already. So we take our bleed layer, contour. Like I said, you can either use this or you can use the radius at the top. Notice how it gets a little funky over here. We take our curve where we see those little lines. We go in and delete those extra curves. I see another one somewhere. Let's go to the cut layer, add our stroke. And notice how it's super clean. We got a bleed. That pink is not going to be white paper where it gets cut. Where that blue line is, it's not going to be white paper because of the vinyl. It's going to be this pink color of the logo because we have a bleed, right? And we want to do the same thing for the pick. Duplicate. Pick. Cut. Lead, contour, cut, pick, cut, I'll put that there, right? And what did I miss, y'all? When I went to my bleed, I did not delete these extra curves. Now that doesn't matter. Notice how I changed the shape. That doesn't matter because this is our cut line. It's going to cut here. We just want to make sure there's no white from the vinyl showing in our design. So we're just going in and deleting all these extra curves that are in our way. Okay, I went around the whole design, made sure it was straight, and that's that. So notice we have all of these blue lines, which are our cut lines. Nothing is going to have white vinyl in the way because we added bleeds. All right, see how clean it is? Boom. So now we have this in the middle. This also gets cut, but notice how this layer is on top of this layer, right? We want to take the one on the bottom, but the tricky thing about this one is this one has holes in it. So if I was to hide this, we would see the black background. I don't want to cut in here when I cut this layer. So what am I going to do? I'm going to duplicate it. We're always going to duplicate and work on the duplicate layer because if we mess up, we just delete the messed up layer and then we go about our business, right? So with this one, we want to close it all up so I can get one full circle around this whole thing. I want my, my, I want my cut line to be around this, right? So... I want to hide this. We're going to put, we're going to work with the duplicate. Dupe them. We're going to work with the duplicate. So there's a few ways you can do this. You can use your node tool, tool and you could come in, drag it, and delete all of the inside curves. Right? See how I'm doing that? I'm deleting all my inside curves. And now I have one full circle, right? And if I put that on top, it's the exact same thing. So now I'm going to hide this again. With the dupe, we want to duplicate that. And now we're going to make a bleed for it, right? And with our bleed, what tool are we using? The contour tool. And we're making it bigger. Right, this is a full circle, so it's not going to have those extra curves in it. Now, with the duplicate M, let me name this. this. With the duplicate M, this is the um, layer we want to put our cut line. 
again, my cut layers are blue today. They will not be blue in your BN unless you set it up that way. So if we have the blue M, if you can't see it, let me zoom in matter of fact. This is that. I'm gonna put the artwork back on. That is that. Now we have cut lines around everything, right? So this is pretty much ready to go to your VersaWorks and um, it's gonna cut everything. Obviously you would delete that. You would probably bring this in a little bit to make it smaller, whatever you wanna do once it gets there. But that is how you add cut lines to your artwork, your complicated artwork, I should say, in Affinity Designer.